Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Today I, I'm going to make three of these adorable little note cards. I'm going to be using the stamp set from Sizzix. It's called Bake With Love. It's adorable. It's a smaller stamp set and it comes with the coordinating dies. And so I thought I'd make three note cards using that set. And for note cards, they're going to be smaller, so I thought I'm going to break out my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Love this little punch board, especially when you're making square envelopes. It works perfectly. And I'll include links below to where you can find these guys. Okay, let's jump in. I'm taking a piece of pink cardstock. We're going to make the envelope. And on the little punch board, it says if you're going to make a three and a half inch card, you're going to need a six by six inch square. So I trim that piece of cardstock down and then I'm going to line it up at the three inch mark and then I'm going to punch and then take my little bone folder and I'm going to score it and I'm going to do that to all four sides very simple and easy to make square cards with this I love this little machine and I have you know I haven't used it in quite a while so I thought I'd break it out today um, you just basically punch and score very easy and then on the side here there's a little corner rounder you put all the corners in there and it punches the perfect corner for each of those. Lovely. And then you take your bone folder, fold in the sides, score it, the other side, score it, and then for the bottom, you score it, and then you need to add some tape or any kind of adhesive. I'm just using double-sided um, score tape here. Um, I find that the score tape works perfect and it's easy. You can use glue, of course, but you want to make sure that you don't let that ooze out so you can't open open your envelope. I've did that before. <laughs> okay, I'm going to remove the backing, fold that up, and you have the perfect envelope. For I'm going to be making a three and a half by three and a half inch card. So this envelope is just a little bit bigger, perfect size for it. I've already trimmed one down using some white cardstock, and like I said, it's three and a half inch by three and a half inch, and it fits perfect in there. Love that. Okay. Now I went ahead and I'm going to make three note cards today, so I went ahead and cut out three of my little note cards along with, um, I made two more envelopes. So we're going to set those aside and we're going to do some stamping. Now this little stamp set is perfect for baked goodies if you guys make cookies and want to give them to a neighbor, a friend, uh, for a birthday, th these little cards are perfect. Just I love the way they turned out. I'm using my black ink. It's alcohol friendly ink because that's what I'm going to be using to color in these images. I'm going to take this adorable mixer bowl and I'm going to stamp it three times. I've actually been, I'm on my third KitchenAid right now. I overworked my little machines to death <laughs> and actually mine right now is making a really funny noise so I'll probably need to get another one pretty soon but I'm dreading it because they're a little bit pricey. But I'm stamping the cute little whisk stamp and then also the cherries too. For this, for these note cards I'm going to make the same layout for all three. I'm just going to vary up the color a little bit. I'm going to be using my alcohol markers to color in these, uh, these images in. Oh, I told you that already. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to play some music while I color it in and I'll catch you back as soon as the music's finished.
Okay, I am just about finished coloring in my little images, my adorable little images. And like I said before, guys, these little cards are perfect for gift giving. Um, little snacks, treats, teacher gifts, perfect. And I love the way, I love the bright colors too, just perfect. You know, um, most of these mixers do come in a variety of colors and I just love that. So I kind of went with that theme. Now I'm taking the coordinating dies and I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of my images out. For these little note cards, I'm going to do the same exact um, layout basically. And so we, we need to work on our, our panel here. So what I'm going to do is take two of my stitched circle dies. I'm taking the smaller one and the one just slightly larger. I'm going to use the larger one and cut out three circles with masking paper. And then the smaller one, just using regular white cardstock, I'm going to cut out three circles with that. Okay, so we have those done. Now we need to work on our card base. So, let's see. I am going to take my little three, by three and a half inch by three and a half inch card base and place that in my mini misty since we are making multiples this is so easy I'm gonna take the sentiment that says bake with love it's adorable love that and I'm gonna stamp it right in the top left hand corner I'm gonna be using some VersaFine ink so and I'm gonna be doing some heat embossing so I didn't forget my anti-static powder tool um, which is a shocker usually I always forget it <laughs> So um, I'm going to do the exact same thing with all three of my little note cards. I'm going to be using some clear embossing powder and I'm going to add that to all three as well. And then I'm just going to heat set, heat set all of them. For these cards I'm going to be adding some um, Distress Oxide inks directly on my card base. And so um, I thought if I heat embossed it. Um, that oxide ink would go right over my sentiment and I wouldn't have to worry about it. Just gonna finish that up. I'm using um, crystal clear embossing powder by Nuvo. Grab my heat tool. I'm gonna heat set all three of them here. Okay, we have all those done. I'm going to take that larger circle we cut out using the masking paper and I'm going to add that to the corner of all three note cards. And then here I'm going in with my oxide inks. The inks that I chose were worn lipstick and I'm really intensifying the ink around that circle edge and then kind of spreading it out. This one is fossilized amber. I'm doing the exact same thing. And then here I'm taking the little circles that we cut out with white cardstock. And then I'm gonna shade those as well. Just just lightly in the center, just to add a little bit of color to those. I did the exact same thing to all three of my little note cards. The last note card I used broken china. I don't think I told you that. But okay, those are done. Now I'm going to place those circles um, right in the center of those masked off circles and I'm going to trim off the edges. I'm going to go ahead and pop all of those up with some foam squares. Lovely. And now we're ready to add our little accents. Um, for my, my blue card base. I added the mixer that had the blue heart. I just thought that would look so cute. And I did the same with the last two. And I'm going to pop those up with some foam squares as well. And for this one I thought I, I liked it a little bit more towards the center. So I'm going to I'm going to take off that first one and scoot it over just a little bit. And do the same to my last one. And then those little cherries that we colored in, I'm just going to use my tape runner and I'm going to add that to the top there. I want the leaves to kind of overhang on those circles. So I'm going to put just glue those right on top there. Lovely. And then for the little whisk, I have some really thin 
foam tape. I'm going to add that to those and I'm going to pop all of those up as well. Just going to place, kind of tuck it underneath the mixer just a little bit. And I think these just turned out so adorable. I can't wait to give, um, give some gifts with these little cards. They're just going to be so fun. It'd be cute too if you made some little um, meringue cookies the same colors. So it would be adorable. But Okay, now of course we need some bells and whistles. So I have this jelly roll pen. It's a starburst jelly roll, jelly roll. I love this pen. It's like a real concentrated Wink of Stella pen and it gives real fine detail. I'm going to hold it up so you can see the shimmer. It just looks gorgeous. And I'll leave links below to where you can find that as well. I grabbed some sequins from my stash. I have some white, kind of an iridescent sequin, which are really nice because once you add them, it kind of takes on the color of the background. And then I added um, some sequins that are the same color. I'm just using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to adhere those down. I'm going to grab a couple and just place them on there. And I think this, these cards are just so fun and adorable. Lovely. And I did that to all three cards. And as I was looking at it, I thought, um, I'm going to grab my glossy accents and I'm just going to fill in the little heart that's on the mixing bowl with my glossy accents just to add a little bit more interest. And basically that's it. That's that's all three cards. I did the same exact thing using the coordinating sequins. Here's a quick look at all three cards with the matching envelopes. And as I'm laying them down, you can see that they're popping up. So I'm going to remove that, that piece of tape that I put on top of the envelope just so I can close it. <laughs> and you can see better. But that's it, guys. I hope this inspires you. If you have any, um, I know there's a lot of fun baking stamps out there. This is a great idea for gift giving to have on hand too in case you need a quick gift. Perfect. Okay, just let me know what you think by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're new and want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much guys for stopping by and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.